All right, people, it's time to talk some trash. This is all of my empties for the month of February. Now, I'm going to, oh, Lord, I'm already knocking stuff over. So buckle up, because here we go once again. Here's the crazy train. And I'm going to start with the most awkward item that I have here as the dogs play in the background. This was the Sephora perfume sampler set. And I know it looks like I'm missing some stuff. I took out the certificate. I got rid of Flower Bomb because I can't handle the scent of it. And I took out Prada's Candy because that's actually one of my favorites and I have a full size. So those are missing. I do have just the tiniest little bit left of um, Bloom, but honestly, it's really strong. And my contenders are, oh sure they are, they are Black Opium, which I had actually never used before, and then the Valentino fragrance too. Vol Volte Vita? Uh, whatever that is. So these are my two contenders, I think. So those two I'm setting aside simply because otherwise I'm going to lose them. All right, so now that I have a little bit of room to move, let's go through some boring stuff. Two Bath & Body Works hand soaps. We have Cactus Blossom and we have French Lavender. So we went through those. Uh, what else have we got here? I have got so much goofy stuff. Some body care. Um, if you've seen my updates for things, you're going to have seen a lot of this already, but still, it all counts. So we're going through all of it. The Warm Milk and Honey from 8,000 years ago. Uh, Dahlia, actually. And this one was an odd one, but my bathroom smelled great because it had a leak in it. So I used it as quickly as I could, but I think I lost a lot of product. Still counting that as an empty. And then, if you've seen the updates, you heard about the... Yeah, the warm vanilla sugar. So that was the declutter, but okay. So still on the Bath and Body Works train, we have got the Lavender Chamomile Body Lotion, the sleep, and it's completely cleaned out. So finished one of those off, but also the French Lavender and Honey. I, I scrape these things out as best I can. I get every last drop. So a couple of those out of the stockpile. Okay, I'm starting to feel like I can breathe here. I was a little bit smothered. So then, let's do some more fun, interesting skincare type of stuff, I guess we could call it. Um, the Moroccan Oil Body Body Souffle. We went through that for the, because um, of the blue, old, new, gifted, and blue project pan. The Wisteria Body Cream. You know about that from the updates. All right, then we went through the Nicole Miller Jasmine Hand Cream, and this is, I mean, I empty these things out the best I can. Bath and Body Works, oh, what fun. Bath and Body Works Vanilla Butter Cream. I tell you, I have got a lot of this kind of stuff. Okay, so that should be, oh, well, oh, yeah, then I think we're going to go on to some of the more skincare type of stuff, sort of. Did do a Lancome face mask. These things are expensive, but it was really nice. And I think I have one or two more. So I enjoyed that one. Um, still working on the, the wipes. So went through another pack of those. The Sephora Melting Balm. 10 bucks, great price. Don't really love it. It was a strange texture. So I kind of felt like I had to use it right away because it wasn't a solid, solid. And then it almost felt as I was trying to get it off as, oh, as though I was making it foam somehow. But excellent container, and so we'll be reusing that. All right, okay, then we knew about the Morphe setting spray, which, like I said, gold container. I don't know how old that one was either, but that was from a project, so that's gone. The Lancome Renergy Lift Multi Action Ultra with a sunscreen in it, just a baby. So that one's out of the, the lineup. Okay, oh yeah, this Rituals, okay, I need glasses for this one. This is a body oil. It is, yeah, I have no idea what it is because I can't read it, but it was one of those that had um, like the flowery thing in it, and this actually has a lot of sparkle. So you can maybe see there's still kind of chunks in it. It's like using the Fresh Rose toner. It just doesn't all come out, but body oil which I actually put on before I put on body lotion. That didn't last very long either. Okay, so then we have got some samples. We did the 
Oh, geez. Keratin Protein, the Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, believe it or not, this actually is smoothing. Normally, with a sample, I can't tell the difference. With this, I could. There's not humidity here in Arizona, really, anyway, but it actually did smooth out the crazy mop that I have because there we do get some frizz occasion. Well, it's naturally curly. Of course, we get frizz. Anytime I try and comb it out, it becomes like a lion's mane. Then we also did Perfect Repair Treatment Mask for the hair. I don't remember this one, so obviously it was fine. Okay couple of different things. The It Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. That was from the project. So I'm assuming you guys, if you're watching my trash, you've probably seen some of my other stuff. So I'm just kind of blowing through this. But, oh, fragrances. Okay. So the Kat Von D Saint. And then the Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. Those are done. We have some Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Just the baby one, but that one's finished off. Oh, I forgot about these. My Shiseido cotton squares. Um, these things are excellent. Absolutely excellent. And I always have those on hand. Those are an important one because of, uh, like I've said before, if I do anything that's too rough or exfoliate or anything like that, I'll get almost, not sores, but it'll be like paper cuts. And that stinks. So those I've never actually had irritate at all. So those will always be in the rotation. That's just one of those things I'm gonna have. Now, this one requires the glasses too. The pile of lipsticks that I frankened. The Revlon Gold Goddess, cause that was gonna work. The Wet n Wild Dark Wine. Lovely color, lovely formula. I actually love these just not for me. That went with my Charlotte Tilbury's from the project and that was Pillow Talk and Very Victoria. And then my baby melts. I wish I could reuse these things. I just don't have a mold to do it. So these were, these were in dark room. So those are good. Well, I have a tube of lipstick out of all of that mess. Then I have got a sample of Urban Decay's original eyeshadow primer potion. And quite frankly, I know this is everybody's favorite, and I didn't like it. I've got another one, it was a two-pack thing, and I don't even really want to bust into it because I didn't like that one. But I got it, so I'll use it. Now this is, um, this one's gonna be short and sweet. This one is kind of a fun one. So technically, I finished the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Powder loose, but because your girl's coordinated, I had ordered the pressed one and it came in and it was fine. It got delivered perfectly well and I was standing in my mother's hallway and managed to flip it out of my hands and shatter it. This thing is a hot mess. So I took it and kind of uh, mushed it up as best as I could and put it back into this and hopefully it'll still work as a loose powder. I haven't really gotten into it yet, but okay. That's the face type of stuff. But you know I'm not going to let you go without candles because it's just not me if there's not at least one or two candles burning. So this month I think is about average for me. I don't really remember. I didn't count up what I had last month. But we have Tis the Season. We have... What do we have? Salted Butterscotch and Vanilla. That's really hard to read print. We have White Gardenia. We have Merry Cookie. So this one is, I don't know what the scent is on this. Just smelled like a cookie. And then we have Winter Candy Apple. Now, those are the single wicks, and most of them burned okay. But like last month, I had a bit of a problem with remaining wax in some of these. So I think I've got a plan though. Okay, Cactus Blossom. These are the three wicks now. Vanilla Bean Noel. And then Fresh Cut Lilacs, my all-time fave, which I thought they would have down here because that's the one that I find more easily down here and less frequently in Minnesota. But when I went to get more, they didn't have that either. But they had a new lilac one. This is pink lilac and vanilla, and the wrapper came off of it. 
but this is nice not as great as the fresh cut lilac but nice still and then of course we went through a love now you remember me going off on a complete tirade if you saw last month's uh empties about how much was left of these things how these things aren't burning and am i just nuts or is this normal now and from what i got back from the little bit of feedback it's pretty much normal they're kind of I don't want to say bad because they're not bad they're lovely they have a good throw they burn fairly well most of the time they just I don't know what exactly has changed now I know that the wax actually feels a little bit more like a soy sometimes because of course this is my leftover this was what was remaining in all of those jars so that's five single wicks and five triple wicks now I had about this much this is my what is this my two cup yeah, I had about this much last month, and I don't care what scents or what colors or any of that stuff. This is what I ended up with. Now, I haven't trimmed the wicks or lit this or anything, but this is what I got, and this is pretty heavy. This was from last month's. The jar is something my mom had, and it's cute. I like it. She got it at the dollar store. So I figured, well, I'm using leftover wax. I'm using a $1 glass container. And I think it cost me a couple bucks to go pick up the wicks at Michael's, or the wick thing, and then my cousin actually put it, the wicks themselves together for me. And I just melted it down in the microwave and poured it in. Now, like I said, I haven't burned that one yet, because I did actually um, want to save it for this video, but then I had been doing some reformulation of some other candles and started it on fire. So I'm hoping that that actually burns like a real candle and doesn't require me almost getting the fire extinguisher to put out. I've made candles in the past. This really shouldn't be that hard, but you know, things happen, especially if I'm involved. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me. I hope you enjoy this. And um, next month, you're going to probably get some weird updates because this is my travel month. So you'll get some from here. You'll get some from there. Hopefully you'll get some from both. But anyway, until next time, thanks for hanging out. See ya. Bye.